la 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 in the name in the name of our god in the name in the name of our god oh mountains be moved hey in the name in the name of our god in the name in the name of our god in the name in the name of our god oh mountains be moved mountains be moved chains be removed in the name in the name of our god in the name in the name of our god in the name in the name of our god oh mountains be moved oh chains be removed in the name in the name of our god praise the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah Welcome to Econo Thrive. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, it's a knowledge. Bazalo ane inga kutitisa uzunga zazi noma uyaya nomu ya buya. But the good thing is, ngoba si hamba ne kawe, i kawe esi hamba nalo. We will always, always be victorious. So I would like to welcome my guest this afternoon. It's already after 12, so it's no longer a morning session. It is now an afternoon session. So I would love to welcome my good brother, Um Pepe, Mr. Paul Zimanda. I will be getting a little bit of a little bit so thank you so much from wherever it is that they're watching this webinar on this great wonderful day god's timing is always perfect hallelujah hallelujah nam sanje ke eh topic here to eat we are soaking in god's presence during the lockdown uh, I have been noticing Uguti Njalo, Ubushala, who posted something on Facebook, when we took Kutaz, Jangabala and Delibako Facebook, and there's some of us who are even closer to you. They see by the opportunity with Usmaila, my voice notes, Jalex, you should have two voices, or what about my voting, Nai voice notes, Vela, who put you upon the man, Ebese Uvelinger, we are Papa Ubanom Janda. So Namsanje, I think Uba Legi Lutsi Gesi Pindas Tobele and Alabum Shampe and Enze Gutsi, they are not your friends on Facebook and also they are not your friends. Oba Tumel and Alama Ama voice on Sutsi. What does it take, Uba Sikwile, U Jehovah, especially during this uncertain time, stay locked down? Especially the past few days, we are Tinta Lapa Indaba, Yago Philippians chapter four, verse six, Lapo Ukuluma Konoguti. We must not worry about anything, we must just be thankful. Sitembe Jaye Nugutu Jehovah is with us. Nasasongis Kat, would you like to perhaps touch on that, my brother? Yes, well, first of all, let me say, um, Thank you for inviting me. I really, really appreciate it. It's good to be home. Econo is my home. Well, from back when it was management and marketing renaissance. It's all like a scoop. No name shall be mentioned in perfect. <laughs> no. no, 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 not at all. <laughs> but Praise yeah, no, so we, bless, we bless the Lord for creating this moment, um, yes. creating this opportunity, creating this platform, which is 
no more lockdown. Welcome, my daily lockdown. I think in my own heart, my sense was that around me in the atmosphere, my sense was that there was a lot of fear. There was a lot of apprehension. The message was people are dying. There is COVID. We are all going to die. And, and, and there's this big thing, it's in China, now it's in Italy, people are dying. And, and I just thought to myself, you know what, when we're going to lockdown, mm. uh, what's going to happen is we're going to experience what is called cabin fever. And the cabin fever is where, well, it's a term that comes really from Oguti. You know, these people are Bashala in Kulama weather and the ice. So what happens is that Sometimes, so, so at some point of the year, finally, mm -hmm. so, so they have to stay locked up in their cabins. And they mm -hmm. began to notice as a phenomenon that when people were locked up, they showed signs of depression, they showed signs of um, restlessness, discouragement, etc., etc., etc. So I just yeah. felt in my heart, you know what? Let me share some encouragement with my friends so that we don't end up with cabin fever. And that yeah. really was the whole point of it, to say, well, you know what? Let me let it, just go to the amplified vision in, in our Bibles. Philippians 4, um, chapter 6, it said, do not be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, continue to make your specific requests known to God. That's the amplified vision. So, ma we bega lenda ba e putwa mi uya uya shukuti ai yabona nje lendo ifunguti si salo tando in lake and just nje tuile kulo nu tando lake. Would you like to just maybe tell us more about that and maybe just give examples of your your own experiences? What what has it taken? For you, Ubanjo Ushale, Utwile, Ulon Sandalaki. Jealousy, Kalela Pagu Fest Five. All right. It's a fig, Ulendo, Ukalatim, rejoice in the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yes. Message, rejoice always. You know, what you rejoice always. Yeah, you know, yeah. Not yeah. rejoice yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Don't rejoice once a day. He is saying, this is just your whole lifestyle, day in, day out, you should rejoice. Hallelujah. And then he tried to say, rejoice. And then he said, the Lord is near. Some, in yeah. some parts of the Bible, it says, then, then, then only does it say, do not be anxious. Yeah. So by the time he says, do yeah. not be anxious, is already spoken about the proximity of God to us. In fact, Colossians, um, Colossians 1, verse 27, he yeah. says, Christ is in you, yeah. the hope of glory. Yes, 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 yes. For some reason, for some reason, throughout the Bible, when God says, do not fear, he always presents his presence as the solution to the fear. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I used to said, wonder. Sorry to cut you off. With the the words "do not fear" a by Berlin, and that is three hundred and sixty-five times or something like that. You know, that's a number. Yeah. it's a number. Yeah, and so, but for some reason, mighty do not fear was present here na ukona back as the answer. Now, yeah, Muhammad, yeah. your figure go, go David. Do David seems to have found this answer because oh, to David, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall not fear, for thou art with me. Yes. So, yes. so David seems to have found this answer that is in God being with him. Yeah. That is yeah. to conquer fear. So yes. we, yeah. so, so we now know that when we are faced with fear, God being with us becomes the answer to this fear. Now, so Paul is then saying, rejoice always. Then, 
This must yeah. give you joy all of the time. This thing yeah. of God with you must give you joy all of the time. And it says, mm -hmm. now, so somebody else is going to say, but what if I don't, what if I don't, you know, how do I just rejoice? You know, like I'm yeah. unhappy. I've just lost yeah. my job. I'm yeah. unhappy. I, yeah. You Easy. know, I lost a contract. Mm. Uh, yeah. You know, things have happened. How do I just ignite myself and become happy? Is it? Absolutely, absolutely. Now I'm in your booze alone, booze. Since this is why I call and you watch in Jalam works and Nancy voice note, Gababo, um, pepper, slapy, and who was I know. If I'm being a good day, no more see for any industry and what in Pella is or shake a cool place, cut some manger, go to a Nancy in Dama, see a Quebec. Yes, you see, the, the, the trick of God's presence is that yeah. when we open our hearts and minds to him being here, we become aware of him more than the situation. Praise God, praise God. Now, yeah. let, let, me, let me digress, Kangane, just to make okay. that point. Yeah. You know, Pastor Thomas, we were yeah. sharing this morning. Good brother. <laughs> and he was sharing, yes, he was sharing about how the problem with the Israelites when they are faced with Goliath was not Goliath. Their yes. problem was Saul because Saul was the tallest man in Israel and so he was the biggest thing they knew. So when there came something bigger than the biggest thing they knew, mm -hmm. they didn't know what to do and they were afraid. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. the difference with David is that he had dealt with a bear, he had dealt with a lion, which are things that were bigger than Goliath. Yes. So yeah. for David, Goliath, Goliath was not the biggest thing there. Now, yes. if you take that very same um, idea, bring it back here. When we become yes. aware of God, we become aware of something bigger than the situations we are facing. Mm. Mm. Becomes, mm. Because mm. When, we, when our attention and our mm. focus is on the things that we are facing, Whatever you focus on is amplified, it grows, yes, becomes bigger. Yes, yes. It, yeah. It yeah. is enlarged by your attention. Yeah. You become more yeah. conscious of it. But when yeah. we therefore shift our attention to God, He enlarges in our mind. Our, you know, our attention is focused on Him. He becomes the biggest thing. And fortunately for us, He is bigger than anything we could face. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, my God, put on me, lauzo, see, eh? Yeah, no, I ain't got us in Bella, eh, eh, we are, we are scutaza, eh, with Upon, got the manja, eh? Yes, I actually do believe, what indeed he is, because we are born, eh, we are called in Bella, got a manja, he really it is that I'm faced with this situation, job of motion, Jenna, Nitanda la Panagoba, Econa into Oibega, your gratitude. Uze uti, mshaumbe, uzo slegelela, uguti sigwenza on a daily basis, ugu zbeka, easy into that we are grateful for on a daily basis because kutu wa genge slungu, i gratitude is the greatest multiplier. Mshaumbe mwa guti tenje kanyane lapo as well. Okay, so la uti, utu Paul, do not be anxious. Yeah. And this is, this is the most amazing thing. Every time God talks about anxiety, fear, Worry, all those things in the Bible, he tends to take the control. I forget. Very often we think that fear is an automatic response. We think that worry is an automatic response. We think that anxiety is an automatic response that we can't do anything about. But the Bible tends to take the control back into our hands. It says, You must make the decision not to worry. You make the decision not to be anxious. You make the decision not to be afraid. So first of all, this brings the power back in our hands. We can decide to. And then it says, instead of that, with prayer, which is specific petitions, and thanksgiving, make your request known to God. Now, yes. I found an amazing power in thanksgiving. If you look at the Psalms of David, yeah. there is a pattern, it's Psalm 100. In yeah. verse three, 
yeah. it gives us kind of a pattern of access because yeah. it says, enter his gates with thanksgiving, thanksgiving. and yeah. enter his courts with praise. Yeah. Now, if you think about the temple that uh, David was talking about, uh, it was fashioned somewhat on the tabernacle of Moses. The yes. tabernacle of Moses, the book of Hebrews tells us, oh, what, that tabernacle was actually fashioned on the heavenly tabernacle. Mm -hmm. So in other words, if we know the structure of the tabernacle that's in Deuteronomy, we know the structure of the heavenly. Right? Yeah. Yes. Now that Jesus is within us, we are no longer just entering the heavenly court. We are actually going inside of us because Jesus is in us. But the Amen. transition is such that we come in through thanksgiving. We enter the arena of praise. And from the arena of praise, we go straight into worship. Now, let's go yeah. straight back. So, yeah. therefore, we enter his gates with thanksgiving. And yeah. thanksgiving is really what we call in simple English, count your blessings. Name them count one by your one. Blessings. One by one. In fact, somewhere, uh, uh, David even says, uh, you know, bless the Lord, oh my soul. It, it almost sounds like, you know, it almost sounds like his soul didn't want to do it. And he's, he's instructing the soul. He says, listen to me. Bless the Lord, oh my, soul, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. And, yeah. and consider, forget not all his benefits. In other words, go back, count everything he has done. Count everything he has done. Just bring your mind to remember this. And then count them one by one. Oh that is God. really thanksgiving. It's about counting your blessings. If you can't count any blessings, count the fact that you're alive. You know what? You're alive eternally. You know, yeah. we've been, yeah. I know it's no longer a popular gospel, but you know, nothing gives me greater joy than knowing which I'm no longer going to hell. I'm going straight to heaven to spend eternity with my father. So my joy is not just for this time, but it's yeah. for the time to it, I know where my soul will spend eternity. I'm no longer worried about that. If nothing mm -hmm. else, I bless the Lord for salvation. You know? Praise God. Praise God. Now, Praise God. What, yeah. what, what we can find is that by counting blessings, by giving thanks, let me just refer Ganane to Uches. Remember there's a story of Jesus with the ten lepers. Yeah. Now, out of the ten lepers, he said to all of them, he cleansed them and they went away. Yes. So they no longer had leprosy. Now think about it. Think about it. A leprosy as a disease was the kind of disease that would eat away at your, at your fingers. It would eat away on your nostrils. It would yeah. eat away at your knees. It would eat away at your toes, basically leaving you, you know, a, with the foul smell, with a lot of pain. And when a person had leprosy, it was not allowed to be around other people because it was an infectious disease. You know, yeah. they were not, they were, they had to be buried separately. They were quarantined, as it were. Yes, you know? yes, yes. Yes, they were quarantined off. They were not acceptable in public. They couldn't yeah. even go to the temple. So they could not even come to God because, yeah. you know. Yeah. So when yeah. he healed them of leprosy, he had, he had, he had healed them of such a big thing. You know what? Yeah. Of the 10 that went away, only one came back to say thank you. Now, what does this tell us? The first yeah. thing it tells us yeah. is that gratitude is not the most common of the human uh, actions. Action. True, true. Human, true. human beings are not the most grateful people. You know? so, yeah. So, yeah. so whatever good you're doing for people and they're not grateful, don't stress, it's not about you. <laughs> yes, yes, it's yes, yes, nature. Yes. It tells yes. us people are not the most grateful of beings. But secondly, what Jesus yeah. then does there, which is totally amazing, Zod, is that yeah. uh, then to the guy who came back to say thank you, the Bible says he was then made whole. He, in other words, not only did the disease stop where it was, his yes. flesh yes. came back. So yeah. yes. 
So there was a restoration of the person. Absolutely. He no longer has scars. You know? Yeah. So Amazing. what are we learning? Amazing. Exactly. His flesh came yeah. back. So there was miracle released by his gratitude. There so was he gratitude. Yeah. <laughs> So the gratitude, you know, as, as you, you rightfully mentioned, there is also something else, but I may mention about the power of praise and worship. I mean, as a worshiper, young excited, you know, 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 you Three praise and worship. That's what I had to do right now as you were uh, um, having this challenge. <laughs> yeah, connection. I was like, I want to get your shabele, like your your Yeah. So, so, so the sequence is then after giving him thanks. Uh, yeah. When, the more we thank him, there's this gate that just goes into praise you know let me let me remind you tina eskule you know in an african context remember ma wenze kahle kuthi we how wenza kahle mntanam in in my family for example they would say how wenze kahle mhlandla kahlela you know they would then start using my clan names yeah you know yeah. That, yeah. so so you see what is thanksgiving uh, rolls over into praise. So, so, so then we start rolling over. So God as well, once we start thanking him, it rolls over into praise. But you're such an amazing God. Oh, glory be to da, 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 da. Now, when we praise God, we talk about what he has done. Yes. Well, what again? Yes. I don't know anybody that can praise as well as we do. I, I don't know. You know, yeah. because I've not other culture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I've not of other culture. But you know, for example, Uba wana maspongi la makos. Yeah. Uba wana maspongi la makos. Uba wana jema city umkwa sasa ngola zoke chuka zinko nje. Sinaga naga say what sabam. Naga sana naga cool. Yeah. <laughs> Because we've transitioned <laughs> into, into this glorious praise. Yes, 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 yes. And the yes, sequence yes. is that. No, and it's we are happened, a supernatural exchange. Masters ngena a kuleo level. Ye praise and worship, you know. Yeah, from praise, what then happens? We praise God. This is a this is a babaza. In worship, it's about we 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 enter the next dimension, which is at His feet, where we now start adoring Him. Yes. To say, but. Now, now we enter a more intimate level. At that intimate level, that gate of entering into the next intimate level at his feet, where we worship at his feet, and we are th there's th that whole that whole sequence has a lot of supernatural things that happen. And Dalila, we praise, let me tell you. I yeah. declare in the name of Jesus, no Hallelujah. spirit of heaviness can survive in an yeah so, so so let me when we praise god it is as yeah. good as pot burning coal on the ears of the devil praise god he, he, does, he can't stand people giving glory to god amen he can't stand, amen he amen. Just, amen amen especially amen. so the spirit of discouragement the spirit of heaviness the spirit that brings about 
uh, feelings of depression and all of those things. We yes. praise. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. go. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Out, out of the storm. We get into oh. the mode here. We worship. That is where we, we are then magnetized with his nature. You know, mm. there's that. Remember, when Moses went and spent time with God on the mount, by the time he came back, he had the nature of God. Yeah. yeah. He was, the glory was on his face. They had to put a veil on his face. Yeah. 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 Because, yeah. because moon. Yembo. He, yes. His nature yes. Yes. imparted onto us. But at the yeah. same time, our nature is taken by him. So it's like there's a magnetic supernatural transfer of nature. Yes. Yes. He takes yes. whatever was bothering us and he Hallelujah. gives us his nature. Yes. Now wow. his nature. Wow. <laughs> his, wow. nature wow. Is, mm. his nature is power. His nature is love. Yes. His nature is wisdom. Yes. His nature peace you know mm. he's the prince of peace you yeah. know yes, the spirit yes, of god yes. there is freedom you know yeah all of yeah. the things so suddenly even in lockdown we are still yeah. free yes you know? yes 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 which is yes. Great Hallelujah. Mm. Up. Mm. we are free yeah free yeah and who yeah. the lord Free is free indeed. It's free, it's free indeed. gratitude. We are palange. We are we are no manje. We are chabulela. He prays. We are tripanje. We are we are musho. We are musho. As you pray, who can am shabele lila pa esasi tula sisa kuloti. Ugu shabele la gu yam togo zisa o dabugi leyo shabele la. Yatemba bamugele makaya. They are joining us as we sing this worship. Oba, we are going to as you get into that space. Oku shabele la already. Jogo pa koni zidei tiliya be subalula. Lendo zamugushela yo na my brother. Aga yen lose la paya ku Facebook. Oba, we are live. Gengbo no kuti bani ostroini le namshange. Praise God. Yabo na la paya osisi susugi le no pumele lo. They are with us. O putting was not in the Ubabaza la Pucisas and Actalo. Masculumina was a seven school. It was a long time ago. We were revealing our age. Nahum, our brother in the United States of America, Ubaba Uterin Leon Harris, is sending a shout out to us. Nangela Pa Ubaba U Chris. Fire, our good brother and friend Uti. Ah, Wamu Shondombi. I thought you come from Wamash. Una Una lo usinga. Na lo laga chase. He starts joined us. Ni abona lapa. Umshoni shau babu zakele kumete na is with us. Ganja lo ne team ya sekon is with us. Na ngu mama mfundi swami waselute la pela elute la iseka ya pepe to mama u. Figile Tlamulela is with us. I guess uh, Skubega again. Putuami. Uh, Uma Sikubega Lapa, Kulendaba, Yake, U Philippians. I think if it's Elilande Layo, Lapaya, Wege Manje, Ese Kuluma, again, you'll touch, get back with Lutinto, we beg a cobble, cobble, corner, Unger, Uzebese, we are as the interpreter, we found it. Jeroba in Jalo. Uma Sikulela Lapaya. I think it's verse seven, Philippians four, verse seven. It again. Most of when zile gonga geloges kulumanga ako, and then gifunda we amplified, and the peace of God, that peace which reassures the heart, that peace which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus 
is yours. Would you like to maybe chat yeah. on, on that? Slippies, slippies, yes. Yeah. yeah, see, le, le, this part of the book um, has a lot to do with managing the inner space. It's got a lot to do with managing the heart and the mind and how we, how we, how we are, our, our inner state. So Paul is saying, if you, if you do it this way, there's a specific peace that will come over you. Yeah. Now this piece, I have a confession to make, you know? So I've yeah. got this other friend, Colin. This guy always said to me, hey, you know, the best thing I ever got from the gospel, if nothing else, the day I accepted Jesus, I received peace. And I, was, I, I always thought I understood what he was talking about, you know, because in my mind, I always thought peace was the absence of violence, you know? If there's no violence, there's peace yeah. there. So yeah. what's the problem? Until I experienced this peace. And you know what? It's not the absence of violence. It's not the absence of noise or anything. It's a particular spirit that you sense in your heart that comes over you. And Paul is saying, it'll then guard your heart and mind. Mm -hmm. So instead of the fear and the worry and the anxiety, you've now got yeah. this particular spirit that is watching over your heart because worry wants to take over your heart. Worry wants to drive your heart. One, worry wants to take the driving seat. But God is saying, here's the peace through the mouth of Paul. He said, the peace will guard your heart. Now, why is this important? Yeah. If you check in the book of Proverbs, for example, um, King Solomon says, above all things, yeah, above all things, guard your heart, for out of it proceed all the issues of life. Mm -hmm. So this is the most important thing that you have. In fact, later on in another proverb, he says, as a man thinketh, so is he. Yeah. So your, your mind and heart are actually what determines the output and therefore the outcome of your life. So your life is determined almost entirely, in fact, not almost, it's determined entirely upon your heart. So yeah. if, if fear rules your heart, it therefore rules your life. But he's saying, no, let peace rule your heart and therefore rule your life, which means you're now going to have a peaceful life, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and we know, we know that when peace rules, there's a couple of things that it comes with, which are benefits. One of those is the ability to deal with um, those things that the human heart in its natural state is unable to deal with. One, rejection. <laughs> rejection. It's a big one. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. So, you know, take, take Jesus, for example. Yeah. Jesus in Luke 4, it's an amazing story. I see yeah. Jesus there overcoming so many things because he had peace. Yeah. First of all, he's taken into the desert, right? And yeah. in the desert, the devil, first of all, challenges him. Challenges so him. you're the son of God, do this. Yeah. If you're yeah. the son of God, do that. Uh, the, the word says this. Yeah. Jesus resists the pressure to perform. Do you know how many times we get into trouble with the pressure to perform, the pressure to prove that you've got money, therefore you must buy everyone drinks, the <laughs> pressure to prove that you've arrived, therefore you must drive a big car, you must yeah. perform, prove it, <laughs> let us see. <laughs> you know? And you spend money you don't have to impress people that you don't even like, you know? And those people don't even like you. <laughs> <laughs> So are you saying, are you saying, if you allow me to come in there, uh, my brother, are you saying, Guti, manje, le peace, itolagala, kupela, uma, une relationship with God? In fact, he says, he says to his disciples, my peace I give unto you, and I give not as the world does. So it's very, the peace that comes from Jesus is different. You know, during this, these prayer sessions, I have to say this, during these prayer sessions, one of the things 
that the Holy Spirit um, impressed upon me was how there's a counterfeit spirit of peace. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, Jesus says, I mean, the Apostle Paul says, no, he was talking about people that were in the church, but were not doing right. And he says, no wonder, because even the devil sometimes disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is possible to come across peace, which is a counterfeit. The counterfeit. Ah. So if it does not come through the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, it is yeah. not the spirit that we are talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not, okay. not bashing anybody's other thing. I'm just saying for purposes of this discussion, we are talking about the peace that comes through Jesus Christ only. All right, all right. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Now, Let I'm me go saying, to Facebook. Can you pegal up in Buzo Sito Layo? Um, okay. We have a question from uh, our sister, Lapaya Ushamase, Ustutugile Mkwanaze. How do you help someone grow their faith so they can obtain this peace? Practical things. Okay. <clears throat> the, the one thing that, okay, so I'm talking to a Zulu girl. Ustutugile is a Zulu girl. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, you know, there's this thing that we say in Zulu. We say you have you have the foam in your chest. There's foam in your chest. Like when you're when you're angry with someone, or or, or, or you, but there's 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 a thing that sits here in the area of the heart. Yeah, that thing, that thing, that thing of unforgiveness and therefore being quick to anger and wrath and what, what, that thing that sits there, it's occupying space. So forgiving other people has less to do with them. It has everything to do with you because you need that space. You need that space so that the peace can sit there, so that your faith can operate. Let me give you biblical references. One, Mark uh, 11, verse 23, where Jesus is talking about the fig tree and, yes. and how he was able to, to, to get that. He then says to them, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to that mountain, mountain be moved, da 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 da, da, da right? Straight after that, he says, and if anyone has wronged you, forgive them. So faith and forgiveness go together. Understand. Let me give you another one. In Luke 17, he says, it is not possible, it is impossible that offenses should not come. Offenses will come. And he says, woe unto the person that they came through. And then he says, forget about that person though. Forget about the person who has offended you. The important thing here is you. He says, you must forgive that person. You, mm -hmm. the issue of forgiveness is your business. And then they say, Lord, give us more faith. They wanted yeah. the faith to forgive. So yeah. forgiveness yeah. and faith always go together. And if you don't forgive, you compromise your faith. Your faith yeah. can, you know, Okay, really someone who is watching us right now, I know I've had this question in one uh, in another platform. Lang ang yo kuluma kona no mama and kuluma ngainda ba yo balega ko kolela forgiveness. And then this lady uh, says to me, um kolela ganja ni umuntu onga kodi sanga. Okay, the Apostle Paul. In, I think it's 2 Corinthians chapter 4, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, it's Romans mm -hmm. chapter 5. He talks mm -hmm. about this very nicely. He yeah. says, uh, rarely will a man die for someone who is guilty. For someone who is innocent, perchance they might die. So yeah. it, in it, Paul is saying it's inconceivable what Jesus yeah. did. Jesus came to die in the place of someone who was already guilty. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It yeah. makes sense. Perhaps umuntu angazu substitute for someone who is innocent and say, 
no, you know what? This guy is dying, but he's innocent. Maybe let me die. But it's unlikely that you would. So our forgiveness comes this way. We say, first of all, you must stop what you are doing. Number two, you must apologize. Number three, I must be assured that you're not going to do it again. Number four, within me, you know, within me, it must now feel right to forgive you, right? Yeah. So you must apologize, you must stop, you must apologize, uh, you must show your sincerity, I must believe you, uh, uh, I must be convinced you're not going to do it again, and I must feel like forgiving you. So, so when people ask us for forgiveness, or when we are called to forgive people, we often think that that means we must feel. We think we are being called to feel like forgiving them. And that's not it. The forgiveness of Christ means we must forgive them even as they haven't apologized, even as they haven't stopped doing it, even as they have no remorse, even as they are going to do it again. <laughs> Okay, let, let me correct this. Let me fix it. It doesn't yeah. mean take them back. It doesn't mean bring them close to your life. You must obviously protect yourself. Yeah. But, Lalela, umtolela esa kutu lang Facebook, eham bebugisa ngawiz walong. Ukole, that's what you are called to do. That's your faith. That is the gospel you preach. You forgive them, then I call Sile, then I saw the Lisa, then I saw the back of Lisa, then I, in fact, I enjoy the Bainza. But let me bring it back to you because yeah. this is what, is what Jesus does. He reminds yeah. us through a parable. You remember the parable of the guy who was owing money, was forgiven, walked out the gate, found someone who was owing him money, and then decided to take that person to jail. Mm. In that parable, what Jesus is really teaching us is listen, Nobody, nobody has done to you worse than what you've done to God. And yet God has forgiven you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. every yeah. time you feel the sense of injustice and you feel indignated, mm. you must just remember, listen, you were a sinner. You were saved yeah. by grace. Yeah. God yeah. has oh, wow. deserve what you've gotten, you know? As far as the East is from the West, so has God separated us from our sins. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities. You first were forgiven. And as a beneficiary of forgiveness, you are called to then commend the same forgiveness to others. Mm -hmm. Apart from Uti, you know what? This forgiveness works for you anyway. Mm -hmm. It frees your heart. Yes, now, yes. if the just shall live by faith, okay. it means that yeah. forgiving is allowing yeah. yourself to experience the faith, the okay. faith that will give you a great life. So you know what? Yeah. The person yeah. that you're holding on to, it's not worth it. Mm. No matter what they've done, it's mm. not worth it. So the man say, hey, we ask what to my brother, Angabuz, what say? You know, So, that you would um, suggest or recommend that you have to do constantly. space, less So, so peace and lapo No but Mina, I'm standing in that space. Zonke lezito itulagala in the presence of God. In the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. Yeah. Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. You know, the, and then when he says, in the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy, remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. So because you've now got this joy, you are able to do what you otherwise couldn't do. We are not called to do these things with our own natural strength. It can't happen. The human yeah. heart in its yeah. natural form is yeah. unforgiving. 
But, but let me tell you why. <laughs> but let me tell you why. It's a practical response. Remember, the human brain and heart is wired for survival. And yeah. survival means you must remember the things that hurt you so that you can avoid them. The you things. See? It, yes. Most of the time, it's people. It's not the things. You, but I'm saying from the point of view of the development of the survival instinct, okay. we are wired, our brains are wired for survival to remember anything that gave us pain so that we can avoid it in the future. Whether that thing is human or, or, or that thing is animal or that thing is a stone that I, I kicked by mistake. It, my mind reminds me, oh, okay, yeah. there's a stone there. Be careful yeah. to kick it, yeah. otherwise yeah. you'll experience pain. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. so in nature, we are wired to remember the things that gave us pain. It's a survival instinct. So mm -hmm. that to remember is something that's not going to happen. So to forgive does not mean to forget. It just means to now remember without the pain. Yes. Remember. We are now able to let, yes, we are now able to let go of the feelings of fear, hatred, and all of those things that are associated with the memory. Because by the way, fear begets hatred. Let, let me make you a simple example. Ever heard someone say, oh, I hate flies? <laughs> well, I do, <laughs> not someone, <laughs> me. <laughs> me, not <know. laughs> I born <laughs> At the root of that hatred, yes. you must check. At the root of it is a fear. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hey. You might find that the fear is, ooh, flies carry dirt. Dirt has death. gems cause death. Yes. yes. You, so yes. I don't have this thing. So, so at the subconscious level, your mind is making calculations. This thing is going to kill me. Yes. Yeah. 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 And so the fear builds up to hatred. Yeah, okay. So, okay. you see what I'm saying? So, you're so, not so suggesting with a feet and in Pugana, it's a castle. Puts it nicely. He says, Love drives out fear. Okay. He's talking about the love of God. He says, yeah. Love drives out fear. Because, yeah. Yeah. because Fear exists in the expectation of punishment, you know. Yes. So, so fear oh, exists yeah. in the expectation of a trepidation, you know. Yes. The, yes. There's a trepidation of sorts. I was trying to get this with. elections, the SRC. <laughs> Excuse me, chair. In the point hey. of exuberance. <laughs> hey, when we put on this, we put on this. We prepare just now. We are moving, but now we move all up here. Go Facebook. We put my boy in a photo that they were to laugh. I was to to get the old tip. How do you forgive yourself? I believe it's a big one. No, but I, I know, I have a camera. Si, 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 bim, bim, bela. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, so <laughs> I, I, I introduce a framework for, for this yeah. one. Yes. Let's go to Genesis, um, Genesis chapter three. So let's look at the conversation between Adam and God. Yeah. So God can to Adam and says, Adam, where are you? Because now Adam is out of position. Yes. Adam says, mm. and then in the whole conversation, something very interesting happens. Adam yes. says, when he's asked, so why have you isolated yourself? Why are you in hiding? Yeah. Why are you self-isolating? You know, yes. why have you withdrawn from my presence? Why have you oh. taken yourself away from me? Mm -hmm. And he gives the reason. He says, I was afraid, number one. And then he says, the reason for his fear, he says, because I was naked. Now, nakedness represents shame. Right? 
And then God connects the dots. He asks a very interesting connecting question. He says, but who told you you were naked? In other words, who told you you were a shameful thing? Who condemned you? And by implication, he's saying it was not me, God, condemning you. Yeah. Which leaves yeah. only one answer, therefore. Oh, it was yourself condemning yourself. That self-condemnation. And then God says, because I know how this could have come about, he then asks a question, did you eat of the forbidden tree? In other words, stated differently, are you guilty of an offense? So now we see a pattern. We see a pattern where there is guilt and the guilt leads to condemnation. The difference between guilt and condemnation is the following. Guilt says I've done something wrong. Condemnation says I'm a bad person. So condemnation paints me with the brush of my deed. Yeah. Condemnation gives me a name because I killed a person. Condemnation calls me a murderer. Medara. yes. You see. Yes. But guilt says I killed a person. Condemnation says you're a murderer and it gives me a label. Mm. Now, from the label of condemnation comes shame. Because now that I'm this bad thing, I'm this bad person, I'm therefore not worthy of coming into the presence of other people. But wow. also condemnation says you deserve punishment and because condemnation says I deserve punishment and even computes what that punishment should be subconsciously it computes yeah. what that punishment I then live in fear hence you hear this thing actually the guilty are afraid yes yeah the fear comes out of now I'm now expecting this punishment that's going to come from somewhere because because I'm guilty. Mm. Mm. Now, this is where the gospel of Jesus Christ is the most powerful thing. In Hebrews chapter 9, Jesus says, oh, I mean, Paul says, you know what? The blood of the oxen and the lambs and whatever was good enough to cleanse the temple, but it could not cleanse the conscience. And then in Hebrews 10, verse 22, he says, but now we come boldly before the throne of grace. Yeah. Our hearts yeah. cleansed with the blood and our bodies cleansed with, with, with the perfect water. What, that, what is that saying? It is saying, in other words, the cleansing of the conscience, because forgiveness comes out of guilt, right? You forgive someone who is guilty. So we need to deal with the underlying guilt. And the answer to the underlying guilt, the real answer is to plead the supernatural blood of Jesus into our hearts for him to forgive us. Because when, when we experience, when we receive his forgiveness into our hearts, then we are free. That, my dear sister, I want to submit is the essence of the gospel. We are forgiven. We can walk free free before men, free before God. Our sins have not been counted against us. It doesn't mean that we in our own perfection, no. It means that by his perfection, by his perfect blood, our sins have not been covered, they've been removed completely. completely. God has nothing against us. He has no issues. And once the heart receives that, the kind of freedom that follows, the kind of freedom that follows is just, it's, it's, a, it's amazing freedom. It's amazing. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. Wow. We are free. We are free indeed. We are free indeed. That My is the gospel. Mother. That is the good news. It's that the good is the good news. It is the good news. That is, is the good, good news. news. Now, yes. the, by the way, Isaiah 61, when, 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 when the prophet talks about Jesus, he says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. You know? Yes, the, yes. Then he says a couple of things. He says to announce what he, he has set the captives free. And, 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 and then in verse 3, 
So, so we were otherwise in prison of our guilt and he has set us free. And then in verse three, he says something amazing. He says, he says to announce that he has given us the oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. In other words, we are no longer joyful of our own account. We are joyful because he has given us this oil. We are praising not on our own strength. There's a garment, there's a spirit, there's a spirit enablement, there's a spirit empowerment that when we get into this place, things begin to happen. Yay. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I'm asking. We are Mahala. It is all free. It is free. It is free. free. Uh, my brother is cut. This is a shy. So again, it's in James Champe. When before we close, Yini Ongaim suggest that. Um, to our viewers out there, Uguti, Jungle Basi lockdown. We are in level four. Asas, no Masi, I have level three, Matuse, level two. Abanye, Bose, Babas, Uti, Mshambe, Babuye, Esmeni, Soguba, Benza, Zongis, and the Bechua, Luxenza, only if including Sebenza, or well, for some of us, even our businesses, you know, have been affected and because the Uber will level one. So, and, 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 and the challenges are real, you know. Um, what is it that I can do on a daily basis so that I can be able to keep myself going? Remember, it's not just me. It's me and my children. It's not just the children, Lawa are biological. It's the children as a second drive global as well. You know, they their own families, you know, in that. So how do I keep going, not knowing what the future holds? This is the moment of truth. Yeah. This is the moment of truth where we can rely on our savings because it's not about money. This is a moment of truth where we can rely on status because it's not about status. You know, if, if Boris Johnson can get it, it's not about status. And um, you know, it's not, about, it's not about what car you drive because under lockdown you sit in your house and your car can't protect you from COVID. It can't protect you from all these other things. Uh, it's not about any of those. This is the one thing that brings us back to truth. That the, the real thing that we really need is Jesus Christ. And however, however much it doesn't make sense, the reality is that it's not supposed to make sense because it's by faith. It's not by intelligence. It's by faith. What we need to do is go back to that faith where we have this hope as an anchor of our souls. And then our souls, that's Hebrews 6, our souls are then anchored so that when the storms come, you know, when a boat, when a boat is anchored at the harbor, when a ship is anchored, when it's got that anchor, the storms will come, but the storms can't move it because it's anchored. Now, that, then our faith tells us, oh, good, you know what? That it's a bad time does not mean it's a bad time. Remember Isaac, Isaac in Genesis 26, he sowed during a drought, during a drought, and he reaped a hundredfold. So there's a miracle power, which means even during a bad time, because we've got Jesus inside of us, Christ is in you, the hope of glory. We can still see the glory of God manifest manifest against the conditions, against common sense, against what it looks like. Jesus is not determined, is not limited by the environment. He lords over the environment. He can, nothing is impossible with God. Isaac sowed during a drought and they reaped a hundredfold. You know what? Joseph, God used Joseph when he was in prison and used him to come up with brilliant ideas and interpretations to interpret a situation and help other people against the famine. And that's how he was promoted. I declare that in this season, God is going to use this season to promote his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From glory Hallelujah. to glory Hallelujah. to glory. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, amen.
is going to use this season to promote his people from glory to glory. So perhaps it's something my brother, my sister, who is watching us out there on Facebook. I don't know if you can see and he is essentially, especially during this time, the only one who can take you from glory to glory. Really appreciate you, my brother. Um, and I do apologize for the technical glitches to you and also to our um, viewers. We want to set the captives free. Again, chapter six. It is Uti put on the armor of God. So that you know the schemes of the devil, not the power, but the schemes. Yeah. The power is with us. Remember, yeah. all power in heaven and on earth has been given unto Jesus, and He has given it to us. Yeah. Baba we chote manja kulu kulu we chope la Yesu enko setu Jesu Christu. Ute wana kulu kulu we chote all power in heaven and on earth has been given unto you. What you we nigga zati. Baba fi atanda zagitle suskat. We pray for your peace. We pray for your wisdom. We pray for your guidance. We pray in Kulunkulwetu for breakthrough uncommon. Ugut kule siskat in Kulunkulwetu. Aguti lies in Tozonke, Zibuga Gazing and Zeg. Besek Velu would in you, nothing is impossible. Nga Pesqua Gonke got a ghost. Sitella Wen, Ukobulako. Stelu Kala now, Stelu Shaligit, Stelu Zambu Legakulu. Sig was, let us get to know you even better. So that after this, we will look back and say, we are grateful that we got to spend time with you. All of this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen and amen. Amanda, 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon on ITG Conversations. I promise Guti, we will be coming back again next week, Thursday. Ikamalami Simang indeed. So until next week, Sitelu Guti Ngosiami Nibe Ne Weekend and oh mama on Sunday it's Mother's Day during lockdown in Pela Gota we're still celebrating in Mother's Day. Nyabonga Kul Putuami and Pepeta we will be in touch again. Thank you so much. Thank you.